Hi, writers. How are your stories coming? I bet you they're doing great. Today, what we're going to talk about is dialogue. Remember, dialogue is making the characters talk. Hi. And when we do dialogue in a story, we do it with quotation marks. Hi, he said. And we put these quotation marks around the words that the character said. And you know, writers use this all the time. Let me show you this book right here. This is a really funny book by Mo Willems. It's called Amanda and Her Alligator. And you can see right here on this page, it says, finally, Amanda came to her room, came back to her room. Do you have a surprise for me? Asked Alligator. Do you want a surprise? Asked Amanda. And look at that, the words that the character said, they're surrounded by these quotation marks quotation marks. So I want to um, practice that with you right now. I pulled out some dialogue that I wrote in my story of Little Red Riding Hood, and I thought we could do this together. So look at this one. Granny, what big eyes you have, said Little Red Riding Hood. So where would you put the quotation marks? Do you think you know? Where would you do it? Well, we know it goes in front of the first word that the character said. And the first word that the character said was granny. So we put them here. And they're like little hugs. They hug the words just like this. They always face the words. Granny, what big eyes you have. Now, where should we put the ending ones? We can't put them in the whole thing. We have to just put them around the words that she said. And she said, granny, what big eyes you have. And then she stopped talking. And see, now they're hugging the other way. And separate them with a comma. Now this time it's different. The wolf replied, the better to see, oops, see, whoops, you, good to read, read your, you with my dear. So where would we put these first ones here? Well, we wouldn't put them in the beginning of the sentence because the wolf didn't say the wolf replied. That's just telling the reader who's talking. The first word that he said was, what? Yeah the so we put them right in front of here and they're hugging the word and at the end after the punctuation now if the quote starts in the middle we can change this to a capital and do a comma so you are writing your three little pig story and as you do especially on pages like this where here's the big bad wolf coming you want to make the characters talk by adding dialogue and when you do you want to add quotation marks to let the reader know that a character is talking.